Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to activate and set up a Netgear 341 USB card. All right, now we're inserting the USB card into the computer. Going to give it a minute, and the drivers should begin to install. Okay. All right. So, what's going to happen is you're going to have a pop-up that should automatically pop up giving you an option to select run to install the software okay if that pop-up doesn't happen it should be under computer right here so if you click computer it should be right there for you to double click and, and do the install so we're going to click run setup we're going to confirm it you're going to agree and you're going to click install. So setup is checked off. Drivers are installing. So we're going to give it a minute. This process could take five minutes, could take one, depending on how fast your computer is. And depending on if your computer needs to go out to the internet to get a um, to get the drivers but everything should be right here so I'm going to go on pause keep the video short as you can see lots of drivers um, are being downloaded and installed currently. If you take a look here, okay, so it shows the device is ready and it's giving you an option to install the desktop shortcut to web admin and launch the web admin after exit. So you're going to click finish. And you're going to agree once again. And that is it. Pretty simple. All right, so we've inserted the card. Now the card needs to activate. So we're going to open up your browser and type in the word Sprint Modem. Okay, and you're going to agree, and I'm going to agree again. Hands-free activation. It also says on the card itself, hands-free activation. And it says checking for PRL update. It says the same thing on the card itself and the little screen on the card.
and now the card says reporting update status to server so the same thing it says on the screen is the same thing it says on the card now it says activation is successful okay <clears throat> now the card is active and ready to be plugged into your cradle point modem excuse me cradle point router Set up a cradle point router for primary connection. First, you need to make sure that your Wi Fi is turned off on your computer and also on the router, and then turn your router on. Make sure that your Ethernet cord is plugged in to one of the yellow ports and then into the back of your computer and the power supply cord from the back of the router to a wall port and wait for it to connect. And now that you're connected, you're going to open up an internet browser and type in 192.168.0.1. And you're going to type in the password on the bottom of your router. You're going to select the time zone that applies to you. Click next, 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 and apply. You're going to go to internet and connection manager. And this is when you're going to plug in your modem to the back of your router. This is also where the process of setting this up differs from backup connection and you're going to wait for the modem to show up in this list when it does you're going to check enabled for the router if it's not already checked and uncheck ethernet you're going to use the arrow on the left of the router name to move it above ethernet which puts it as the primary connection and then you open up an internet browser to make sure that it's working and it is so you're set okay we have the crater point router now we're going to just plug it uh, in and set it up after everything has been configured for primary mode. It's pretty simple. You plug in the Sprint card, make sure the power is turned on, and you take your internet cable uh, or cables that go to your computer, your POS system, or whatever, and you plug it into the yellow ethernet port. It's that simple. There are four total, so you have four ports that you can plug uh, devices into and as you can see the unit is powered up and ready to go.